Hello hiking and backpacking friends, it's Hendrik over here. I just returned last night from Northern Ireland of hiking the Causeway Coastway and I thought now is a really good moment to show you what I was carrying in my backpack for the last five days. So let's do a post hike gear talk. So I'm gonna start with what you can't see, which is the Sony A6500 with the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and the Joby Gorilla Pod that I used for filming and doing these kind of video talking head scenes. I didn't find it a problem to carry it all the time in my hand. I had my Sony a7 III over here. So I was using this camera for video and this camera for images and uh, it worked pretty good for me. So it would have been nice to use the a7 III for everything, but then I don't think I would have managed with just the one battery because making videos drains a lot of battery and I didn't want to uh, yeah, take the risk of running out of battery or get a second one on such short notice. Okay, let's drop this camera on the tripod and then let's look inside of the backpack. All right, as you've probably seen from the trail, this is pretty much how I looked as I was hiking it. A7 III over here with a big lens attached to it, the Joby Gorilla part with the Sony A6500 and the mic connected next to it to do the video stuff, and the Hellsport Snotta Extreme 40 liter backpack that was really good to carry all the gear in comfort on the long days that I did. Before I go and take a look what's inside of the backpack, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and if you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up or a double thumbs up. That really helps me and it shows that you found the video useful. Now let's see what I carried in there on the Causeway Coastway. Over here on my Peak Design V3 capture clip, I carried the Sony a7 III. It's a full frame camera. I got the 24-70mm 2.8 lens on it. It's a beautiful kit, great images, really fast, excellent for video and photos. Pretty much I was wearing what I'm wearing right now. So uh, I got some La Sportiva Mutant shoes, which I only wore on the last day when it was raining. I got a outright hoodie from Houdini. I got a Houdini made to move men's trill twill pants. Those are super comfortable. And then I have a Houdini activist tee on me that is a blend of merino and synthetic fibers. I found those super comfortable. I can wear them for many days. They don't start to smell when they get sweaty, which is pretty useful if it's wetter like this. So over here in the front pocket, I carried my Katadin B3 water bottle. Um, this time it didn't go broken, really liked that. Then I got over here all the paperwork as I, it was a cooperation. I had quite a lot of stuff that I needed to keep track of and see where I need to go at what time and so on. Because I really hate flying uh, and don't like the noise in airplanes, I took my Sony uh, noise cancelling headphones and I had a RAP buff with me in case it would have gotten too sunny, but I didn't actually wear it. Otherwise I wouldn't have gotten the sunburn over here. I did wear my Arcteryx Visor all the time pretty much. Super useful, really light and great to keep the hair and the sun out of your face. And yeah, then I got it back from Discover Northern Ireland. Uh, I thought it might be useful to keep it and take it along in case I need to carry something or leave something at some bed and breakfast, but in the end I didn't really use this. So that's it. Yeah. All right, up here in the top, I got my Houdini come along jacket. This is like a windbreaker that also takes a little bit of rain away. An Aurora Aperture Power X and D 2000 variable ND filter. This has been super useful in the evenings and also in the bright day like now take uh, photos with really long exposures, 30 seconds without blowing out all the highlights. Super great piece of kit. As I was in the UK, I needed to have a converter plug. And then we got the uh, iPhone charging cable over here. I got a little air pump to clean the lenses and also a microfiber cloth to do the same. 
I got my passport, notebook, some tissues to clean my nose, a pen, and this is super useful. This is a climb on lip balm, and I love this. This is so good. Usually if I'm out in this kind of weather or so really dry or cold weather, my lips go broken. This really rescues them. And over here, I have a little power bank that didn't work really well. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna carry this again in the future or just take the big one. Which brings us to the main compartment of the backpack. So it has one, two, three, four zippers. So you have really a lot of uh, possibilities to open this pack if you feel you want to only get something from the side. It's also very easy to open up the pack completely like this. So up here on top, I got my cosmetics bag. This is from Arcterix. You can get this through security because it has the clear front and it is a one liter in size. So that's really convenient. I only traveled with this carry-on. It's pretty heavy, but it went through without any problems because I usually had the camera on one side. So then it doesn't look that heavy and it's a small backpack. So over here, I got my Zeiss Bartis uh, 18 millimeter lens. I sadly only used this a couple of times. Probably wasn't really worth carrying it in the end, but I wanted to have it along in case I wanted to take some really nice wide angle shots, which I felt the 24 mil on, the, on this one isn't enough. But in the end, I pretty much used this 95% of the time and carried this maybe a little bit unnecessarily with me. I completely needed the DJ Mavic drone on the other hand. That has been such a useful piece of kit. I got so great footage with the drone that you just you can't put it into uh, into into money. Carrying this adds just so much production value to the videos as you probably have seen if you've looked the video. So totally worth its weight and the DJ Mavic Pro is not heavy I think. This package together is around a kilogram. I would always carry this along if it's like a, a cooperation and I make this for a client because it just adds so much value. So over here, this is my Houdini Wisp jacket. Um, this is like an insulated jacket with alpha on the inside. So it's pretty breathable um, in this weather, way too hot. So I was wearing this only in the evenings when I was uh, taking uh, sunset shots and when it started to get dark and cold coldish so super great piece of kit love it um, totally can recommend that then I got over here my Coleman Mondo uh, carbon fiber tripod this goes up to 160 something centimeters also not light at around one kilogram but it's such a great piece of kit because it allows you to get really good shots from a really good height and yeah at around a kilogram it's totally worth to carry that if photography and making videos is a serious part of your trip or your journey okay this is a super super <laughs> heavy piece of thing i will take a look at this at the end but it's full of tack and over here i got my eco creek compression cube I had my Luna sandals. I packed these just in a Ziploc bag. Then I had two more t-shirts, two more underwear, two more socks, and then my hiking pants, which is the motion light pants from Houdini. Pretty much everything is from Houdini because I'm a Houdini ambassador, so I get their stuff. And I really love Houdini garments. They fit me really well, and I am completely in line with their sustainability. Uh, ideas and goals up here i had my passport and key yeah that's pretty much it um could have had some some more stuff in here but in the end didn't really need anything else uh, was very happy with how everything carried in this bag everything stayed dry and working so uh, total recommendation for the uh, snota extreme 40 liter backpack from hellsport also, just that you know, I'm also an Hellsport ambassador, so I got this pack also for free. But it's a great piece of kit, and especially this super wide opening means very easy access. So you could actually, I usually just open the zipper to one side, and then I could take out 
the tripod without any problems. All right, let's take a look into this electronics bag. So this is a GORUCK a GR2 pouch. And I use these to carry all my tech stuff. So I've got here the uh, normal windshield for the road mic over there. I got two extra batteries for the Mavic Pro. I got another two batteries for the Sony A6500. I got a little Petzl headlamp in case it would have gotten dark, but really didn't ever need it. And then I got all the cables in the world to keep charging everything. So it was very convenient to stay in bed and breakfast in the evening. Um, then I got over here still a remote so that I can take shots from far away or long exposures without touching the camera. And then I got some spare propellers for the Mavic in case I would have yeah, destroyed some. That's all the tack. It looks not a lot, but it's pretty heavy because yeah, these batteries and stuff and all the cables, they do add up. So, But in the end, I was happy that I was able to fit everything into this pouch because that way nothing is flying around inside of the backpack and nothing can get lost. So it's fine and packed down at the bottom of the pack and it was out of the way. As you see, there's no camping gear. That's because I stayed in little bed and breakfast and in a hotel all of the nights that allowed me to travel really light and I was super happy with the how everything worked out. I was wearing the other pants and shirt during the day. I could sweat that full, not need to worry. I arrive at the bread and breakfast, take a shower, put on the fresh clothes that I'm wearing right now, couldn't go and have dinner and yeah, no, no, no smelly stuff and stuff like that. So everything worked really well. Um, the only thing I probably would not take the next time is the extra lens for the Sony a7 III. It's simply, I didn't use it enough that I feel it is worth it. And I got the 16 millimeter lens from Sigma on the Sony a6500, which pretty much covers the width that I would cover with this, even if that's not a full frame. It was a great trip. If you haven't watched the trip report video yet, I really recommend that you do that. It's linked up in the corner. If you've got any more questions about any of the gear, the camera, the clothes, the backpack or anything, please ask away in the comments. I'm happy to help and answer your questions. Okay, then I will see you the next time. Bye.